Hey, welcome to the video guys. So now we're going to go ahead with linear regression multiple variable. Alright, as I discussed in the previous video, linear regression single variable and what's the difference in this as well. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, Archul, let's say we got this the linear regression equation for multiple variable is y equals to m1 multiplied by x1 plus m2 multiplied by x2 plus b. Alright, as I told you all guys earlier that population is going to be our dependent variable. Here is going to be my independent variable. Now, m1, m2 is basically my coefficient and b is going to be my intercept. So, I'm just going to go and take you guys through the data set as well so that you guys can have an idea as well as why it's multiple. So, let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so let's say we have the data set of a city and we want to predict the population. Now, these are the years given and these let's consider these as the code of the city, all right? The code number of a city and the population goes ahead like that. So, we got your city population all right so this will come as x1 this will, the year will be x1 city will be x2 and population will be y because we're predicting the population so i'm going to run you through the code as well on python so let's go ahead and check that out all right guys so now that we're on the python code so i'm I, as i mentioned i'm comfortable with using spider as my id but i do switch sometime on jupyter notebook so that's from time to time so I'm going to basically show all the code, run you all through it. So basically I'm importing my libraries such pandas, numpy, and matplotlib. I've mentioned that pandas is for data frame. It basically extracts my CSV files and it stores it into a data frame. Numpy basically it supports these uh, matrices and multi-dimensional arrays and it has really great like high level mathematical functions to handle these arrays and matplotlib is basically for my graph. Now I basically have made a data frame by the name of data set. That's pd.read underscore csv city1.csv. This is the file of my csv file. As I mentioned it out here, city1. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to print the data set shape as well, just to show all the how many rows and columns. That's 78 rows so, and three columns. That's correct. Now I'm going to show all the graph as well. Let me just remove the comments. This graph is from my matplotlib. All right, let's go ahead. As I mentioned, X is my year, Y is my population. I got the style as O. And my title is going to be population. X label is going to be year and city. That's M1. That's X1 basically. And city is X2. And Y is going to be my population. So data set dot year, data set dot city, data set dot population. Color is going to be red. And I'm going to add a mark and I'm going to show all this plot as well. So as we can see here is it is basically the values are continuous. So that's why it's going to show the graph like that. But let's go ahead and check this graph out on over at with Seaborn. As I mentioned in the previous video, I prefer using Seaborn as well because it's a bit more interactive and there's the regression plot as well. So let's go ahead and run that. And you also chose these values are basically continuous. That's why it's showing the graph like that. But we can actually see there's a relationship between these variables as well. Now I am going to comment this out. So it's going to get some sort of annoying when I'm running this again and again. So I prepared the data set as I mentioned earlier that I this is, I find this an accurate way to run the data set. That's data set dot i location columns two. That's your and city and data set all. It's only the last one that's going to be population, all right? That's minus one is going to be the population. One, two, that's going to be the starting year and city. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to split the data as well. Now, guys, from SQL under models underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test. Now in the train test split, I've had x, y. Now guys, in the previous video, my test size was 20%, all right? That was just to match my R square score. So here we are, I've added 10%. So I've given 90% to my training and 10% to my test, all right? And the random test state is basically basic splitting it randomly. Now I'm basically training the algorithm. It's from sklearn.linear underscore model import linear regression regressor equals to linear regression and this is where the magic happens basically regressor dot fit x train y train All right guys now i have mentioned this in a comment as well out here multivariable linear regression has to find the most optimal coefficient for all attributes all right so this is how it's done basically you got coefficient data frame 
you're creating a data frame and you got the data frame base regressor.coefficient you got x columns and you made a column with the name of coefficient let's go ahead and print and see how that looks as well and here it shows the year's coefficient is this the city's coefficient comes up to this value all right so i'm going to come on this out now let's go ahead and make the predictions all right now y underscore print equal to regressor dot predict x test all right this, this is going to be based on the test value. Now I'm going to compare these values, the actual value and the predicted value. That's my Y test and my Y print. All right, so I'm going to print this data frame. I created the data frame as well. So I'm going to print this and show all as well. Like it's coming up here, the actual values and the predicted values, as we showed you previously. All right. Now let's go ahead and evaluate this algorithm to see this model that how accurate is it. So I used R square score for linear regression, SQL learn from this library, SQL metrics. I imported R square score and from SQL learn import metrics. So I'm going to print and show you R square score. So now this I'm used Y test Y print, and uh, the value is basically coming 0 0.2. All right. Now let me show you that if I had to put 2 with 0 0.2 or here, I basically got the R square score as minus 0 0.4. So basically just for this purpose, so that my value stays from the range of zero to one, I've put it as 10% for my test, right? So I've got the score within zero to one. It's not really good, but it's like, okay, it does the work. All right. Now I'm going to predict the population of city 101 with the code 101 for the year. Basically, let's go ahead with 2027 and we're going to check what's it gonna be okay and this is the population that comes for the year 2027 the city with the code of 101 so it's really simple multiple linear regression it's not really difficult if you guys have any questions please feel free to drop a comment below i'll get back to you and thank you so much for your time